Welcome to Toro NSN's Training in 10, an innovative self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. Today's topic is a review of doing the Windows updates for your Lynx computer. While this presentation is focused on Windows 7, these processes will apply to future versions of Windows. Covered in this training in 10 is the Windows updates. We will look at finding the new updates and the process of updating Windows in your computer. Before doing your Windows updates, it is suggested that you save your Lynx data and back it up to an external media. Check out the YouTube Training in 10, Saving and Backing Up Your Lynx Data. Or contact our phone support staff if you have any questions concerning this procedure. When you are ready to do the Windows updates, close the Lynx operating system by clicking in the X in the corner. Once you have saved your Lynx data, close the file manager by clicking in the X in the corner. Also make sure that you have closed all other software currently operating in your Lynx computer. With the Lynx computer connected to the internet, Windows updates will appear on the computer. The icon in the bottom right will show when there are updates available. Click on this icon to review those updates. This will open a screen to the Windows updates. You should always Click on the Check for Updates to make sure all current updates are available on your computer. The computer will then start looking on the internet for any new updates available for the Windows operating system. Once the computer has located all the new updates, click on the important updates verbiage here to check on those updates. Now make sure that all of those updates have a check in the box. Once you have selected all the updates then click OK to go back to the update screen. Now click on the optional updates to review those updates. Unlike the important updates, these are optional. Review to see if you want to utilize any of these optional updates. If you do, place a check in the box to select them. Once you have selected them, then click OK to go back to the update screen. Now that you have selected the updates, click Install Updates to begin the process of updating your computer. The next process is the downloading of the updates. This may take a few seconds to several minutes to accomplish. Once the downloading is completed, it will start the installation of the updates. Again, a few seconds to several minutes. After downloading and initial installation have completed, the icon will come up and say restart the computer to finish installation. Remember to make sure you have closed all other software within your computer. 
Once the computer has restarted, links may restart automatically if it was placed in the startup menu. If links was not in the startup menu, double click on the links icon to start the links operating system. If you have any questions concerning this procedure, please do not hesitate to call the NSN phone support staff. Here are a few suggestions for regular maintenance. Make sure you do your Windows updates, save and back up your data, and restart your computer on a regular basis. That may mean once a week or once a month. Preferably do these on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday mornings. That way if you have any questions or issues you can contact the NSN phone support staff. Well, another 10 minutes has gone by and you have just completed another episode of NSN's Training in 10. Today's topic was updating your Windows 7 Lynx computer. We hope this Training in 10 lesson was helpful for you to better understand this helpful tool and that it helps you further enhance your career working with the number one irrigation central control product available. Toro Lynx. Be sure to keep looking for future installments of NSN's Training in 10, the self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. If you have any questions about this or about future training module releases or if you'd like to participate in one of our acclaimed Toro Lynx regional training classes, please contact us by calling 888-676-8676 option 2. Once again that's 888-676-8676 option 2. Toro NSN also invites you to follow us on Twitter so that you can get the latest updates on where we are what we're doing and the new training opportunities for you to participate in. You can find us on twitter.com forward slash at Toro NSN training and send us a request to follow. Toro and Toro's National Support Network. Count on it.